USB ports are fantastic, but they also open up your computer to a peculiar vulnerability, voltage. While a USB port is designed to handle just a few volts of electricity, a USB kill stick forces hundreds of volts into your computer, destroying all the sensitive electrical components on the inside. From the outside, a USB kill stick can look like any thumb drive, but you can also modify any device to act as a USB kill stick. Ionic air purifiers are a common disguise for USB killers, since an actual purifier has internal components that look very similar to a kill stick. Regardless of the exact form factor of the kill stick, they all work in the same fundamental way. When the device receives power from the USB port, it stores it in an electrical component known as a capacitor. Capacitors are a common component you'll find everywhere inside your computer. The primary job of a capacitor is to store electrical energy in an electric field. Think of it as a sort of storage tank. A small trickle of low pressure water fills up the tank, and then you can choose how quickly you want to empty that tank, including dumping it all in one go. That's what happens in a USB killer. The capacitors fill up using the low voltage USB standard, and then push high voltage electricity back through the data pins of the same connection, destroying the computer. The data pins are designed to take only a tiny amount of power, just enough to send signals, so high voltage power wreaks havoc and releases that magic blue smoke. USB kill sticks aren't very complicated devices, but folks who market them are adding new features as time goes by. Newer models have a higher discharge amount and now have special electronics that bypass USB-C or lightning port security. These more recent connection standards have much more advanced power limit controls, so older kill sticks may not work on newer systems. The latest USB killers take care of that obstacle and also have more attack modes. For example, you can use them against smartphones or use a time delay so that you can plug it in, walk away, and have the device self-destruct later when you're gone. New USB kill sticks have internal batteries that destroy devices even when they're turned off. You can also get several adapters that allow you to destroy devices through HDMI, DisplayPort, microUSB, and more. Suffice it to say that cutting edge kill sticks are no joke. The best protection is to prevent one of these devices from ever being plugged into your device. That means the physical security around your computer has to be adequate. If people you don't know can walk by and plug stuff into your computer while you were away, that's an invitation for trouble. Keeping the computer away from unauthorized users is part of the defense, that's not enough. You also need to personally refrain from plugging unknown USB devices into your computer. If you find a USB drive lying around, don't just plug it into your computer, because it may be a planted USB killer or a regular thumb drive with malware on it. Leaving USB drives around is a tried and tested method for hackers to access computer systems. You could also consider using a USB port blocker, but new kill sticks can use almost any port on the computer with the correct adapter, not just USB, which means that if you want to lock ports down physically, you'll have to secure all of them. Stay safe and see you next time.